Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the Ratchet and Clank Let's Play series. So now we actually just got an info box so we can go to a lodging site in Eudora and that's for the next part of the story. But in the last episode we didn't actually get a chance to check out this training area in the land of Metropolis which is where we are right now. So let's go check this out. Come on. Welcome to the Captain Quirk Fitness Course. Fitness course. If you're strong I knew enough, it was an fast assault enough, course. and clever Sounds enough all. to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make okay. your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death. <laughs> of course, challenge. of course, Quirk. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing. It oh. Okay, well that's not the real version of Captain Quark Clank, so we're gonna just go up here and see what it has in store for us. Let's check around here because we might have the gold bolt. I knew it had something to do with an assault course when I saw those wires, and it looks pretty interesting going up there. I, I remember bits of this, but it's so awesome so far. I'm really enjoying this game. Honestly, Ratchet and Clank is one of the best game series I've ever played it's so awesome and it gets better it gets so much better seriously as the game goes on it's just crazy be honestly so surprised of, of how much it evolves as you go along yes and there's actually a new Ratchet and Clank game coming out so after we've covered the main Ratchet and Clank games so 1, 2 and 3 the trilogy we'll be going on to that I think it's called Into the Nexus, so that should be really interesting to play. I'm I'm really looking forward to playing that one. There's also another one I didn't get a chance to replay, which was Q-Force. That's like a mini game, same as uh, Into the Nexus. It's a small game. It's like Quest for Bu Booty, Beauty, <laughs> Booty, uh, like treasure, but spelt like Booty. So that was another one I didn't really get to play with much. I didn't really get to play those ones. So that should be really interesting to do a let's play on and I'm looking forward to playing some of the PS3 exclusive titles too like Tool of Destruction and uh, the Future series. Future series is pretty cool I have to say it's just I like the main story more if you've ever seen the Future series you'll know what I mean but it's like Q-Force into the Nexus and uh, a, the Time one I forgot the name of it completely but there's uh it's like a crack in cracking time that's it and these are closing in on us we have to hurry up oh right do it like that there we go totally knew that sweet okay so yeah it should be really interesting to see how those games pan out i've actually played a cracking time and i've completed that several times as well that was such a fun game i think i've got a platinum trophy on a crack in time but yeah that was such a cool game uh, i really enjoyed that and i think it really goes back a little bit more to some of the games like ratchet and clank 3 ratchet and clank 3 if you've ever played that you'll know what i'm talking about we'll be getting to it in the let's play series of the trilogy but you'll understand what i mean oh who's this this is the pork trainer listen up you lard balls oh. hello beautiful how are you? <laughs> what do you mean? We finished okay. the circuit, ma'am. So she wants to see us do more. So we've got to buy a slingshot. Oh, this is cool. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff awesome. like this. Awesome. So now we have a slingshot that we can actually use. So this should be interesting. Congratulations, your new gadget on slingshot. Use it on the standard versa targets. Ooh. But it wants nearby it targets out of views L1 to aim. Ah, so it's like the, the bomb. Okay, let's let's do that. L1 to aim. Can we do that? Oh. Oh, we have to hold on. Sweet, I like that. Oh, and the yellow ones let you swing. Okay, so the green ones let you, you swing across just, just in a forwards position. And the yellow ones let you swing by holding on to the yellow lines in the middle. Okay. I like the sound of that. That sounds good. Right, well, at least now we have the slingshot, so we can actually use that. Quarks of no use, but hey, seems like that's kind of how it's supposed to be. 
But now we actually have enough for the vendor, and I'm not I too sure about buying this. It's the blast star. It's a, like a pistol. But you know what? Let's let's go for it. Let's let's buy this. I uh, I want to buy all the guns as we go along, so it should be really fun to see how this works out. Plus, we might be able to actually kill that guy in the helicopter. That's a real that should be good. This merchant's so cool. This reptile, it's so awesome. Yes, there's our blaster. Okay, so let's see how this works. Ooh, okay. There we go. That's how it works. And B. That's how we're going to kill this guy. Right, let's go down. Let's blast him up. Come on. I'm really looking forward to just blasting this guy to smithereens. He's just been a pain in the butt. But I hope that we're going to be able to get something from him. Like quite a lot of bolts. Come on. Oh, take this. Oh, yes, he's getting damaged by it. Oh, what do you have to say about that, sir? Oh, we've got a target, and yes, there are our bolts. It looks like we got about 500 for that. That's pretty sweet. Oh, a bit more than 500. I think that was worth it. I think that was definitely worth it. And so was that, breaking the lampos. Because we wanted to. Okay, now I'm really tempted to see what's up here. I, I really want to do the hover jump, but... Actually, oh yeah, the hover jump. I've completely forgotten about that. We can get up here now. Ah, okay. That's really cool. Now, let's see what else is in store for us here. Come on. Ooh. Okay, we've got some ammo. Some blaster ammo. Maybe there's another gold bolt up here. I think there was one here, but it didn't look like it. And it's not like it's in a very visible area. It might be below, like, the first one that we found. But... I'm not too sure. Okay, let's let's check this out. Is is it below? No. Doesn't look like it's below from that angle. Let's go on the other side. Let's see if it's here. No. No, it's not. How about here? It looks like it's kind of a blocked off area. But might be able to jump down. No, no, we're not jumping down anytime soon. Okay, so that was just for additional bolts. Yeah, it seems a bit fishy. I have a feeling there is something uncovered here. Very uncovered. Hmm. I really am quite puzzled by that. Whoa, okay. Didn't expect that, but... Hey, look. We got to the floor. Woo. On the floor of the map. Anyway, that was pretty sweet. Let's get back into our ship and see where it takes us. This should be interesting. As I'm looking forward to going to the next area too. But I would like to come back to Metropolis sometime soon. Awesome place. And we only need one more gold bolt. And we pretty much wrapped up the area. So that should be pretty sweet to see. Okay. Eudora. Hmm. Okay, well I think doing the training exercise was a bit much in that episode. I think the last episode ran a little bit too long. And some of you did complain about that. So I'm sorry. I know I kind of went on... A little bit with Metropolis, but it's one of my favourite places and it was a pretty worthy place to spend about 20 minutes on an episode. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here and then we'll go on to the login site you do in the next one. I'm not going to be playing around in Metropolis anymore until we, we decide to go back to it in a future episode. But I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this episode of the Let's Play series. If you have, make sure to leave a like on this episode. And make sure to check out the other episodes in the series if you've missed any so far or there's any that you want to check out in the future. Maybe you want to skip a few episodes. But if you didn't like it equally, I'd appreciate it if you left a dislike and you let me know what you wanted to see in the Let's Play. So if there was something that made you dislike the, the, the episode, please let me know. And I'll use that that constructive criticism equivalently and i'll try and build on the let's play series to give you personally something that you want to see in the series that would make you enjoy it a little bit more just as much as everyone else who's currently watching it so i'd really appreciate that if you would be able to take two minutes of your time to do that for me that would be awesome also if you did have any opinion or you do currently have an opinion on Ratchet and Clank that you haven't expressed so far I am listening I really want to hear what you guys think of the game so if you have played Ratchet and Clank before and you're like me and you, you nostalgically love this game like crazy nostalgically yes nostalgically maybe not so much in relation to nostalgia but 
maybe if you just really like Ratchet and Clank just like I do and you haven't played it in a while or maybe you've only seen gameplay like this Let's Play series and you really want to try it out some more. Maybe you need some advice on whether you should buy it or maybe you're consolidating whether you should just buy one of the newer versions of Ratchet and Clank like Into the Nexus, the, the more recent games rather than the older titles. Whatever your opinion is on the game, I'm interested, and I want to hear what you think, so please let me know. Even if it's not about the game and it's about the series, I'm very interested to hear. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next, so peace. Saying peace doesn't really work out for me. Goodbye, guys.